Hello guys and welcome to the second Java MS Access database application tutorial. In the last tutorial we created our database and we configured our data source and now we are ready to develop connection to our database. Now, so first of all you need to have a NetBeans project. I've already created my NetBeans project and my class name is DB. Now before we start writing code we need to import a library. And library is import java.sql.hysteric we need to import this library. This library will help us with all the code we need to develop connection to our database. Now inside your class, we need to declare three variables. First of all, it will be connection variable, con. Connection variable will help us to get the connection to our database. And second variable will be statement. Statement variable will help us to have access to our tables inside our database. And the third and final variable will be result set <coughs> no this result set variable will help us to have access to records inside our database so we can go, go through the records with the help of this result set variable now we need to create constructor for our class so how to declare constructor is easy public you can either make it public or private whatever you want to so public and the name of the class db brackets then opening curly brackets and closing curly brackets now why we use constructor is because whenever we create a object of any class constructor initialize the object to some state so whatever we write in our constructor our newly created object for that class will be initialized to whatever is mentioned in the constructor so that's why so whenever I want to create object of this DB class I want it to initialize to this method connect I didn't write this method yet we need to write this method that's why we are having error message so let's go out of the constructor and declare over method connect public void connect and opening curly brackets and closing curly brackets. Now you see there's no error. Error has been disappeared because we declared over method connect. So if you do not know how to create a method, please watch my Java programming tutorial how to create method. That will help you a lot. Now we created our method connect. Now we will write all the code to develop connection to our database in this method. Okay. So all the SQL method whenever we write any SQL statement it gives it, it throws an exception so we need to catch that exception inside our try and catch block so all the code we will write in between this try and catch block so you need to write try and then catch and the bracket of the catch exception ex <coughs> alright now we need to write all the code inside this try block. Now first of all, we'll declare a string variable driver, which will hold the driver which we need for our database. So as our database is a access database, so we will be using JDBC ODBC driver. So what are the drivers? Drivers are sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver. So these are the driver you need to type exactly at it as it is. First JDBC and ODBC in the small capit small letters, and then J with a capital and O with a capital, and then driver D with a capital. Otherwise, if you don't type as it is, then it will give it will give us an error message. Now. We created our driver. Now we need to load the class of that driver. So how to load the class? So we write class dot for name and driver. We need to load the class to use the driver. We we first of all we declared our drivers, and then we load the class for that drivers. No class is loaded. We are ready to use our driver. Now we need to declare another string variable and we'll name it db and we need to give our database database name so how to write database url it's like jdbc colon or dbc colon and the name of the database in my case it's db1 so 
now we have our database URL of now we can use our connection variable which we declared above here you can see now we'll use this connection variable to connect to our database so we use con equals to driver manager dot get connection and we write DB because DB variable is holding our database URL now we got connection to our database now we need to use we need to use the tables inside of the database so we use statement statement variable st then we will use con dot create statement this will create the statement which will help us to access our tables inside our database and now we will declare another string variable sql where we will write sql statement select static from table 1 name of our table is table 1 so whatever the name of your table is you need to select everything from the table select static from table 1 and then rs variable equals to st dot execute query and sql no this statement will execute this query that select static from table 1 so we will select all the record from the table 1 using this st variable and it will assign all the records to rs no rs is holding all the record inside our table one no connection to our database is done but how do we know if, it's, if, the, if the connection is working so to make sure the connection is working we can print all the records inside our database remember in the first tutorial we entered three dummy records in our database now we will print those records so i will use while it will go through all the records in the database while rs dot next while there are records in database opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket and and in between those two curly brackets we will declare variable string f name equals to then how to get the field inside the database so we use our rs variable to get the field inside the database so string of name equal to rs dot get string as all the fields inside our database are string type as I told you in the first tutorial those were the string type then rs dot get string and in as the argument of this method in the quotation marks we name we write the name of the field inside the database f name type it exactly at it, as it is in the database now so we'll declare another variable to get the second field inside the database last name equal to rs dot get string and the name of the field in the database l name then st string h equal to rs dot get string then name of the field h now we we have access to all these three fields and we sign these fields to local variable f name l name and h and now we will print this variable using system dot out dot print ln statement and we write f name plus i'll give a little space then l name plus then space plus h now <coughs> we will print these three variables which are holding the records inside our database now let's print when we run this program it should print all the record inside our database so let's run it and check it we run our program and in the output we should have record from our database no we don't have record from our database because we did not create object in the main class so each time you run the program it will straight away go to your main method so if there's nothing in main method nothing will happen so we need to create object of our, of our class db and my class name is db so new db so when we run this up when, when we create this object this object will be initialized to whatever is in the constructor so this object will run the connect method and the connect method will develop the connection to database and print them on the screen now when we run our program it should print all the record inside the database.
Now here you go. All these three records, Steve Zayn, Simon Barnett, and Matt Hill. So all these three records are printed. So that means we have successfully developed a connection to our database and we can access all the records inside the database and we can manipulate our database. So that's it for this tutorial. So in the next tutorial, we will develop a graphical user interface for our database and we will display this record in a text field and with appropriate label next to them. Now, uh, if you have any problem understanding any code in this tutorial, please do send me an email and I will help you. It's better to be clear before moving on. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe and see you in the next tutorial.